And the U.S. now has three authorized COVID vaccines, but a lot of people are wondering, what about AstraZeneca? Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain why it's been slower to arrive here than in other parts of the world. The Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine is currently in use in 60 countries. This week, the company announced it's shipping shots to 140 more nations. It's authorized by the UK, the European Union, and the World Health Organization. So why isn't it here in the US yet? Some critics say the FDA has been moving too slow. Others point to missteps by AstraZeneca. As a consumer of this information, it's been actually quite confusing to make sense of the AstraZeneca data. It's been a lot harder than, for example, Moderna and Pfizer and with J&J, &J, where it's just very straightforward. They they chose a way to run the trial and the data is right there for all of us to look at. Been a lot messier with AstraZeneca. AstraZeneca launched clinical trials in the U.S. and other countries last summer. A few weeks in, someone had an adverse reaction. And on September 6th, the trials were paused worldwide to investigate. The company got permission to resume the study in the UK six days later, but the FDA didn't allow the US trials to restart for another month and a half. My understanding is that the clinical trial sites in the US were on pause for a prolonged period because there was not great information sharing between the company and what the FDA asked for. Then in November, AstraZeneca revealed it made a mistake in one of the studies. Some British volunteers were accidentally given a half dose rather than a full dose. The results were actually better, but that didn't sit well with many experts. Dr. Mark Sawyer of Rady Children's Hospital is a member of the FDA's Vaccine Advisory Committee. It absolutely raises questions, and not only why did that mistake happen, and does it tell us that there could have been other shortcomings of the study. So uh, that will certainly come under scrutiny, I think, at the FDA meeting. The FDA has a history of taking a longer look than other health agencies. Famously, in the 1950s, European regulators approved a morning sickness pill called thalidomide, while the FDA chose to wait for more data. The delay was warranted. The pill turned out to cause birth defects. AstraZeneca says its U.S. trial has completed enrollment and it expects to have data available in the coming weeks. Then it'll submit an application to the FDA. Experts say it's on track for authorization in the U.S. by April at the earliest. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.